Hi everybody, welcome to week 13 of more consistent content creation. I showed up again this week, another week gone by. I have no idea where this is gonna take me, but let's just see, let's see where it goes. Um, in three weeks, I turned 35. If I round up to the nearest decade, I'm almost 40. And I'm absolutely nowhere close to where I thought I'd be at this age, right? When I was growing up, you know, I thought at 28, I'd have a stable career, I'd have a kids, I'd have a house. I'd be living my life as a mama and a family person. But lo and behold, I, I've got almost nothing, none of that stuff. I've got a life partner. I've got a condo that my parents helped me purchase. I don't have a stable career and I don't have kids. And I'm not even sure I'm even close to that. I mean, I have no idea whether kids will be in the picture. Right now, I'm kind of just living life. And... Although things on the outside seem pretty chaotic and pretty messy compared to, you know, what's expected of us in the mainstream, on the inside, what's fabulous is that I, I feel as connected and grounded as I've ever been. You know, when I fell off the beaten track, so after I graduated, graduated university, I started my teaching career. About five, six years in, I decided to leave my teaching career behind and kind of just explore other avenues. And that's kind of where this whole, you know, journey to understand myself better and understand what this whole life is about began. I, I dabbled in nonprofit. I left that. I then took time off. I went on a meditation retreat. I went back to school as a mature student in university. I got a job for the first time through networking, through somebody in my community without having to go through an interview, which was kind of cool. I was an extra on this really probably a D-list movie set that probably never even came out. I had a chance to wait tables, which is something I never did in my 20s. I then had the chance to go back to India to, to learn a little bit more about where I come from because that's where my parents were born and raised. And here I am now working part-time as a, you know, in customer service which again is something I, I never did in my 20s. And my path has just been all over the freaking place. But what's really cool is that since I've stopped living in this linear fashion, I definitely feel like the concept of time just doesn't exist anymore. You know, I don't feel, I don't feel my age. I don't feel 35. I actually feel younger than I did when I was in my 20s. And I'm not sure if everybody's going to be able to understand what I'm saying, but as soon as I sort of decided to get off of that hamster wheel, I've had so much time to just learn more about myself, to reconnect to myself, to reconnect to the bigger picture and the, and the greater whole and to reconnect to, you know, the people around me. Time has been on my side, you know, time is no longer running the show. Rather, I am able to take this concept of time and do with it what I will and still feel grounded and connected to my values. So even though I'm nowhere I'm nowhere close to where I thought I'd be at this age. And as much as everything on the outside of me is this chaotic mess 
uh, to most people, I, I've never felt so secure and confident. And just to give you an example, you know, sometimes I do fall back onto old patterns. And this past week, I was feeling extremely lethargic. I was, I fell back into the pattern of my compulsive eating where I would just eat and eat and eat to fill a void. And whereas, you know, feelings like this would consume, have consumed me in the past, this time around, I approach these feelings and, and behaviors with awareness. So there was a heightened awareness as to what was going on. And I was able to be kind to myself, be gentle with myself, not criticize myself for what was happening. I have no idea why it was happening, but I could treat myself with more compassion. I've also now built a community around me where I could reach out for support so I could share what I'm feeling and going through, feel heard and understood and supported. And I've also cultivated sort of this, this momentum to just keep moving forward, no matter how heavy and slow that movement is. Instead of, again, these negative feelings of self-sabotage and confusion and, you know, sadness, instead of them consuming me, I'm now able to move, to continue moving forward despite the feelings, knowing that they will pass. So at almost 35, I definitely feel so much more in control of my experience living, you know, this life. And I don't think I would change it for any other way. And yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to share is that I have not followed the path that I was told I should follow. I decided to carve up my own path. And although I went through a lot of self-doubt and ang anguish kind of trying to deciding to do this, I'm now at a place where I feel like I made the right choice. So although I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, I don't know what's going to happen next year or in five years, I know that right now I feel grounded and I feel connected. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week.